Hey, what up to everybody on YouTube? I hope everybody's doing great. I just got back in from work, so I had a had a bit of a problem getting back from work actually. Today I had a bunch of traffic. There was so much traffic, I tell you. It was literally bumper to bumper. And I had a very big problem that with that because I tell you, it was so bad. I I could not even get to uh I could not even get to the stoplight to turn around or find some other way home. It was so bad, I tell you. I could not, uh, I could not believe this traffic. I mean, they might as well have dirt roads. It, it was very bad. I, I don't know what, what was going on. But uh, to do that much construction is a very bad idea, I think, at once. Because nobody will ever get home. They might as well... I could not imagine if it was raining. Now, I do have some things I want to say. Uh, I do want to go into the news right away because there are some big things happening in the world, especially in Asia, where I think a large portion of Asia is ignored, mostly because of the Middle East, but uh, we won't get into that today. Uh, I just want to tell everybody that there are different parts of Asia as well, not just the Middle East, which is part of Asia and Africa, but there are other parts of Asia, like North Korea. North Korea is a big deal right now because most people don't know they are testing nuclear weapons. They are testing nuclear weapons and we have given them warning. United Nations has given them warning and they are saying that they will take these warnings as a declaration of war. And this is, this is completely madness. This is complete madness because I cannot tell you how many times I've seen uh, misinterpretation of diplomacy. They have already misconstrued what we are saying and they are saying this is a bigger excuse to build up nuclear armaments. And I, I can't stand watching this on the news because the Bush talks about uh, nuclear weapons. It's nuclear. It's nuclear weapon and this is what they are building. People get confused and they think nuclear is different from nuclear. They are one and the same. This is a terrible bomb that will go off if North Korea is permitted to go on like this. Kim Jong-il I am so I I am so glad that we live in a nation where I can speak freely about Kim Jong Il. If I was in North Korea and I was saying this to you, I would be taken away and shot. Now, I want everybody to be aware of what is going on in North Korea. They are going to start building up nuclear armaments, and they are still in talks for diplomacy. So I encourage everybody to read about that and be educated in case North Korea becomes a new Afghanistan and Iraq. Now I do have other things to say, there is some good news every day, but you have to hunt for it. Today, a new element was discovered on the periodic table. That is, they were experimenting and they created a new element which is not named yet, but it is similar to Californium. It is an element on the periodic table that is man-made, which means we are creating new elements of the universe. And this is very fascinating to me because these are entirely man-made. They were not made by God or, or who knows what. These were made by man, not the universe. And this is something amazing. They have not named this element yet, but I do want everybody to know that it, it, there is a new element. So maybe periodic table buffs, you will need to... Uh, Readjust yourself so that you know the new element. Uh, everything else I have here, this is a little tidbit I want to talk about because I've seen that some people throw terms like sexist and misogynist around a little too much. So I want to see what everybody thinks about the story I saw on the news. This story is about two South African men in South Africa that are... Um, they are looking for a housemate in their house. They are both professional men. They make a lot of money, so they have a very good house. However, they are not married men. They don't have any any wives or any girlfriends to come over and clean up after them. And they are too lazy to do it themselves because they work very hard. Now, I want to know what everybody thinks about this. They want a woman to move in and clean up after them. And they tell this woman she can never bring home any man. And she can never, uh, she can never watch soap operas on the TV because they bought that TV for uh, sports, and they don't want soap operas on the TV. Does anybody think this is sexist? I want to know because when I, I, I don't, I don't want anybody to think I am sexist for telling this story because I won't give my opinion on this story. If if she wants to clean, that is good for her. If she doesn't want to clean, she doesn't have to go. But uh, this is just a general advertisement. They just look for somebody to come up and clean. But it has to be a woman. Do you believe this is sexist? Please let me know. 
And we will discuss it perhaps in another video. They are still looking for a woman. Now, I want to give some shout outs. But again, I don't see anything good on YouTube these days. What's going on, people? What is going on with YouTube? Uh, however, I did see some good videos regarding Brookers. She has returned. She has returned from making her video break. And she is coming back. She is saying... Uh, she is saying that she is a Brooke Allison now. And this is something we must respect. So, I will link you to her latest video. Which you can see on the right side of the screen. Next to my video in the description. This is called Wild Berkey. She is, she is hunting a wild Berkey. This Berkey is very dangerous. And she doesn't believe in it. However, she comes to end up paying for it in the end. It's a very good video. I recommend everybody check it out if you want to see a screaming woman. Uh, one thing I did see on YouTube that was very disturbing again. It wasn't a lip thinking video, but it was darn close enough. Because this man, Renetto, he's promoting very disgusting videos and a very disgusting song on YouTube. This song is very vulgar and I will not even reference to it. I don't want anybody to know what this song is unless they click on the video because I don't want to even remotely promote it. But as usual, you can see it on the right of the screen. Uh, this video is very disgusting. It makes me think that I am in bathroom tube and not YouTube. Because when I go on YouTube, I want to see funny videos, entertaining videos, educational videos, not hear songs about the bathroom. This is something that is for another part of the house, not the computer house, uh, the computer room. This is not, uh, it's very disgusting and it really disturbs me. Now I also, also I want to address some questions that I had regarding this. This is something that I write down the headlines of the news in so that I can remember what to tell everybody because it is a little bit more difficult than it looks. So I write down my headlines in here. You can see for yourself. There is something that I want to say to everybody. So I have to write down the name so that I can remember. And this makes me very mad that somebody actually criticized that I have this. I cannot, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not congressman or somebody that can just name everything off. So I need this to remember your name and my name and everybody's name so that nobody forgets. I don't want to forget anybody in my video. So I will always write down everything so that I know what I'm talking about. Now, other than that, I don't have much else to say, but I hope everybody is having a great day and I will see you all tomorrow or day after or maybe later in the week, who knows.